you a couple of top tips for tennis players who really want to get their shoulders and rotator cuffs on fire and working hard. So unfortunately with tennis during this period, there isn't a lot of competitions and trainings go ahead, so it's really important to keep your shoulders fighting fit. Here are a couple of tips. There are several TheraBand rotator cuff uh, exercises. My personal favourite is one where you're going to be into that 99 position because it's really relative and important for serving and for any racket use up here. Okay? A really good uh, exercise as well is when you have the racket in your hand plus the TheraBand, but those are for the champions. So the first one is you're going to come up into a 90 degrees, uh, almost like a stop sign just down for the moment. You want your TheraBand nice and taut. I've attached this TheraBand to a doorknob because that's what's nice and handy right now, but you can attach it to a whole range of things as long as it's going to be sturdy and, and not fall. Okay? So from this position, back up, shoulders back, looking forward, you want to rotate into a stop sign position and then back down to the starting position, keeping your tension nice and easy and strong and the same throughout. So we don't want to have this up and down really quickly. Okay? So again, we're going to keep it 90-90 and rotate into that stop position and slowly coming back down again, nice and controlled. Let's say 30 times, but you can break into three sets of 10 for a beginner. Second top tip is to do a similar exercise as the external, but do the internal rotation at a 90 90 degree angle. So what I've gone and done is put my TheraBand up and over the door. It's got a knot on the end, uh, so it's going to be nice and sturdy and not fall off. Which is really good for an indoor tip if you don't have a sturdy object or a pole to use. So, start off my right arm, again nice and tall, shoulders back, you want your elbow at 90 degrees, okay, and your hand at a similar stop sign position. Okay. And you're going to gently pull it forwards, nice and smooth, and then pull it backwards. Okay, we're going to work in the eccentric and concentric modes here. What you don't want to do is go forward and then become too lazy and then fling back. Okay, you really need to keep it nice and controlled. And similar to the other one we were going to do, let's say 30 for a beginner, three lots of 10. Okay, a couple times a week will get you on your way.